What's up everyone, welcome to my channel, the best place for music producers looking to enhance their workflow. Now in today's video, I'm gonna go over what I believe is the best mobile setup for music producers in 2020. Now I travel quite a bit, so I've definitely have this mobile setup thing nailed down to an exact science. Uh, because you know, I work with, I collaborate with producers, songwriters, uh, artists. So yeah, my setup kind of needs to be flexible uh, to be in those different collaborative situations. I do want to preface this by saying that this is not a gear review video. Uh, I'm just going to be going over why I like the gear and how it helps me in my mobile setup in my workflow. So here it is, this is my studio away from the studio, whether I'm at home or traveling, this is my setup, which I believe is the best mobile setup for any music producer uh, in 2020. Now I'm assuming everyone has a laptop here, so I'm not going to talk about my computer, uh, but I will talk about the pieces that make this whole setup work for me. And what's great about all these pieces is they fit in nicely into my bag right here. Um, so it's super compact, super light. So the first piece I'm gonna talk about is the arrow, uh, which is essentially the brains of the entire operation. And why I like this piece over, you know, some of the other interfaces out there, uh, first and foremost, the sound quality is superb. UA is known for their conversion, uh, their super low noise floor, uh, so the recordings are just pristine. Secondly, this thing is very well built. Uh, it's got a very premium feel to the whole thing, everywhere from the buttons that have a nice little clickiness to it, uh, to the knobs, uh, to even the display and, and the metering. It's, it just feels really good. And it's got a nice little rubber mat on the bottom so this thing doesn't slide. It just it's really stays in place when you put it on the desk. Third thing, the Thunderbolt 3 connection and it being bus powered is absolutely amazing. Sometimes when I'm on the go and there's nowhere to, to say plug my computer or my interface in, it's nice that it could just be powered, that it's powered just from this single cord going into my computer and I can just be up and running from this one cable. And on top of that, you know, with the Thunderbolt 3 connection, you get extremely low latency. The fourth thing would be the whole UA console UA plug-in and outboard DSP experience that is not offered on a lot of other interfaces. This is what I think separates this interface from the rest of the pack. Now, just having the console here, which is very nicely laid out, you know, there's a level of familiarity for me because I personally have uh, an Apollo, uh, as you can see back here uh, at my studio. And just knowing that I'm working with the same layout, that's always nice. Now about these plugins, for those of you who don't know, these are plugins made by UA uh, that are faithful recreations of the hardware units themselves. So for example, this Neve uh, preamp and uh, this Eventide harmonizer. And what's great about them is they don't take up any computer processing power because they are actually uh, running off the DSP chips inside the interface. So it's great that it offloads that processing from your computer. Now what I love about this the most is I can get virtually the same sound as my studio vocal chain that I use, which is this right here, my Neve clone going through my distressor. Um, I can get that sound in my mobile setup. As you can see here, this Neve going through the distressor. So that's really cool that I can do that on the road and get virtually the same sound. The second piece I want to talk about that's integral to my mobile setup is the Arturia Micro Freak. And why I love this so much is the fact that you get a full blown synth uh, in this form factor. It's super compact um, and I, I really still can't even believe this is uh, under $500. Uh, the fact that you get inspiration right out the box, I can just turn the knobs and get sound right away. Uh, 
Um, it's great. I can sound design super easily. Um, it's, it's just great for inspiration because I don't have to pull up necessarily a preset from my DAW. I can just get right into uh, making sounds. It's also nice that this doubles up in a sense as a MIDI controller as well. So if I do decide to use a VST, uh, I can at least use these keys to, to get the rough idea down. I mean, they're not the best keys, but it's good enough to, to lay an idea down for sure. So one of the ways I like to use the Micro Freak in conjunction with the Arrow is by using some of these plugins to kind of thicken up the sound. Since this is a mono output going into the interface, sometimes the sound can feel uh, a little bit thin. Uh, as you can hear, for example, this is just a basic square. So I'm just going to turn one of my favorite presets here on the harmonizer. So you can hear right away just how that thickens up the sound a lot and uh, can add just a, another layer of inspiration when you're creating. And the great thing is that once again, because this is a plugin that's coming off the DSP processing of the interface, I can just print this in and not have to worry about this taking up CPU on my computer. Now the last piece that's integral to my mobile setup is this Apex mic. Now there's no special reason why I picked this other than the fact that it was dirt cheap, it was under $50 and uh, it's got an on off switch which I, I love. Uh, it's great when I'm vibing out with songwriters and they can just have that on off switch to just kind of control themselves. So the way I use the mic in conjunction with the interface is once again through these plugins as mentioned before. I try to recreate um, the same vocal chain. So I have my Neve and I have the Stressor, uh, which also goes through the Auto-Tune as well, because I can't sing for shit. So this is definitely at a retune speed of zero. So when I'm trying to get ideas down, it's nice to just have this track in real time. And once again, take off that processing workload off my computer. And it's nice that I could just print with the Neve preamp, and the distressor uh, as well because I, I just generally like to print my vocal because I know what I'm doing, I know what the sound I want to go for. Another little bonus feature that I really like about the, uh, the preamp control with the interface is the fact that I can select preamp and once I kind of click and hold this, uh, an orange dot appears here and I can cycle through the different areas of the preamp just by clicking the knob and I can control them accordingly. So I, I click here and I can control the fader by moving the knob here, right? And I can click again to control the output trim and you can see it's very clearly indicated it's a green light. So it's a green light there. I click again, it's an orange. So it's an orange light there, I'm, I'm controlling the the gain, uh, the preamp, and then the fader with the yellow indicator. So that, that's a very nice touch from UA. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, found it informative, and I hope I was able to offer a different perspective when it comes to looking at mobile setups. If you like this, please hit the subscribe button below and let me know in the comments what other videos you'd like to see. Also, make sure to follow me on IG for other content like this. My handle is at musicbyt. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you in the next video.